Hey guys, so uh, I'm a big fan of uh, DaVinci Resolve um, and I was really excited obviously to see the new uh, Studio 19 version come out. Um, I do own Studio, I've known it for quite some time. Um, and obviously the film looks, that's something that uh, everybody's excited about. Obviously there's a ton of other features in uh, the new Resolve beta. Um, the film looks so one of the things that I wanted to look at because, uh, you know, I guess, as, as you guys know, I did a dehancer test um, with uh, Final Cut Pro. It's amazing. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you people want to know, uh, does film looks really replace dehancer? Um, so let's look at that. So here we have a simple timeline. I just dropped a couple of clips in here. Um, I think these were shot with the Sony uh, FX6. Maybe, um, could be. So um, this is just a simple timeline. Uh, I kept it in HD for now. It's probably it renders a little bit easier. So let's look at a uh, first note and let's just go into the film look creator right here. This is, uh, obviously this is, so what I would do here, I would go to Sony. Ooh, which did I shoot this? What did I shoot this in? Well, that's a good question. I don't know, S log three. Uh, it's a little hot, but that could be, I think that was overexposed. So that, mm -hmm. So that could be. Anyway, um, these are the basic setting in the film look creator and you can see right there. So there's a couple of presets. Uh, there's a couple of, uh, you know, obviously we can choose the color space and obviously if you choose the color space in the timeline directly, uh, things get a little different. Anyway, uh, these are the settings here and the biggest difference right there is uh yes you have split tone you have vignette you have halation you have bloom you have grain flicker gate weave uh film gate and all the stuff is amazing and looks great um but there's really no film emulsions there and I think that is the biggest difference right there uh, between, you know, the film look creator in uh, in Da Vinci and Dehancer because uh, I'm going to go into, actually, I'm going to, so we can obviously change this here can make sure we get the highlights back. And don't get me wrong, this is very powerful i think it's great i think it's awesome uh it's right there uh it doesn't i don't really see that much difference i mean you know this is da vinci we have color wheels we have all these all these things um and we had that before so uh halation is turned on right now by Default, so we're going to turn that off. Grain is turned on. Everything's turned on when you kind of click into it. Um, yeah, and it, it looks very good. There's no, there's no problem there at all. So let's do, let's add another note here and let's just turn this off. So that was the film look creator. Let's go to the library and let's go to Dehancer here. And right away we can see that obviously it's Dehancer. So this, the first thing it does really, we can do the same settings here. So I can go into uh, choose camera and then I go uh, Sony. This was... Uh, S log three was it S log three cine? I don't actually know right now. So same thing. We have a, a you know exposure compensation, but the key difference here is that we are we automatically have um, 
a film look put over that. And that's not only, uh, you know, there's an actual film emulsion um, dropped over it. So it's a different, it's a different thing. Um, and as always, you know, these are the same as we used to. And they look amazing. As always, nothing has changed here, really. This is the same. This is the same thing. So let's, uh, you know, and then we can get into the developer and again, all this stuff. Again, the, the uh, I usually like to print this and enable, turn the grain off. This is not enabled by Stan, which I actually like. Um, film damage. Um, which I don't believe, let's see, I don't think DaVinci has that. Does it have that? No, it does not have that. Again, something that is, that's, uh, I'm not saying that one of these is necessarily uh, better than the other, but I don't think that, uh, let's go here, let's go to this clip. Let's just advance this a little bit. And again, I'm going to go to Sony here. That was that. Sony is look three. I think these were overexposed a little bit. I'm going to take the highlights down. This is still quite a bit. Yeah, here we go. It's just definitely overexposed. Turn the halation off because this is something that I don't necessarily always want. Um, so yeah, this is what that looks like. This is the film look creator. And again, I'm going to come in here again, add a note, turn this one off. Choose camera. Go through the same thing again as well, again. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, I don't think that, uh, again, I, it's, they're, they're really different tools um, because what is really amazing to, for me with Dehancer is uh, the actual film emulation. And that is uh, something that Da Vinci does not have right now. It's a film look creator. And again, I guess that's, uh, I'm pretty sure you can get similar results but i mean we've been able to we would have been able to get similar results with uh um you know with color wheels and and a lot of the color correction settings that have been in here before um in terms of tone and contrast and controlling that um i believe that uh the answer still is by far the superior tool um and obviously i can just I mean, I can copy and paste these looks anywhere, anyway. But um, there's just a lot of settings in here that uh, are not existing in the Film Look Creator yet. Yet. I don't know. I don't think they're going to really go into that. But um, it's... I'm really excited that uh, that DaVinci obviously that that Blackmagic included this 
in Da Vinci. Um, it's a great option to have, and, and uh, I don't think I don't think it's included in the free version. So you still have to buy it. Um, in terms of rendering. Oh, this is Dehancer. Oh, this is the, actually, this is the film look creator. So, uh, this is just set to HD. So that's pretty easy. This was shot in 4k, but it's set to HD. And let's see how I turn this off and let's see how Dehancer renders. Uh, just about the same, I would say. I'm sure the more effects you pile on there, and I um, mean, if we add beauty or something to it, it's going to slow down again. Um, but overall, it all looks pretty much the same. So I hope this helps. Uh, I know that uh, everybody's excited about the uh, new features in, in that uh, Resolve 19 demo uh, beta. Um, and it is amazing. I mean, black magic always keeps pushing the issue, but the answer still is the king when it comes to film emulation.